Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. And in this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to just create a LERD component. And what we will do is we'll make it disappear after three seconds. For those that watch the blog series, it's the same. We will use the same kind of component, but those who are new, you can benefit from this lesson. All right. So I'm not going to talk about everything. I'm just going to explain things as I move along. So what we do is if we go to our resources views, we're just going to create a new component and I'm just going to call mine alerts. And then inside the alerts, I'm just going to put in main.blade.php. Now, the reason why I'm doing is because sometimes I want different kind of alerts. So I can move, maybe put another one as primary or secondary. So in this case, I'm just calling mine main. You can name it whatever you want, right? So under components, you create a folder called alerts. And inside that, you just create a folder called main to blade or PHP. Or you can just, instead of just doing that, you can just create a UI folder and inside that, just alerts, right? Because I want different kinds of alerts. That's why I do this, all right? So inside that, I got my main. All right, we're using Alpine JS for this one. So I created two separate uh, methods right here. So if statement, so if this is success or if it's an error, all right? So there's the two messages that we're going to receive in the session, all right? So let me just make this so that we can see this a little bit better. Okay, the transition. All right, X data open meaning to, uh, is set to true by default. All right. Now, what we want to do is the X in it is basically the one that sets a time out. In our case, this must be 3000. Just to kind of set the time out to 3000, uh, meaning three seconds. Okay. So the, well, let's just make it in this case, four seconds. We want the, the success message to display. And after four seconds, it basically disappear. All right. So X data, we set to true. We then we set the timeout. So this is when we want the the message to disappear. X dot show set to open. This is basically a transition with Tailwind classes to set it how we want it to appear on the screen for the user. All right. So we can set X enter. So basically, when the message comes in, we want a transition and a duration of five hundred uh, milliseconds then transform and is out. And we want to start it with the opacity of one. Okay. So basically when it leaves, we want the transition to be to 500 milliseconds, transform and is in. All right. And we set the opacity basically to zero. So this is basically what we want to happen at the end. This is what we want to happen at the start. And this is the properties attached to that. All right. So this is obviously the class of the Diff itself. So this is the diff right here. So we want to flag some basically the items must be center, padding, margin, bottom, text, white, and a background of green. So, and then we use a zond icon for a check mark for the, for the, our component for our icon. And this is basically the message from the success variable. So if we go to our controller, let's go to our tag controller. Right, so you see the message that we see tag updated or deleted. That's basically the message that will be displayed here. As you can see, this message. For whatever you want to type in here is basically what will display here at the moment. If that success that we're putting here, that success right there, is the success that comes from this right here. Right. So if you name it something else, obviously it will be looking in the session for that message right there. All right. So success and Error kind of makes sense. If someone else reads your code, they will know, okay, this is a success message. The session will look for the success and all that kind of stuff. So just pause the video, then just copy this part, right? This, all this. You can obviously change the styling however you want. Then we're just going to go and get the Zond icons. So let's go there. Right, we're just going to go to Blade UI Kit and we can go to the Blade icons. Then we're going to search icons. And for me, I'm going to use the Zond icons. And I'm just going to use the, look for the check mark. 
Now, as you can see, it's this mark right here. And you can just obviously just copy the component like this. Okay. And the next part that we're looking at is for an X. If they got it, nope. Let's search all the icons. This is the close, actually. So we're just going to look for the close. So let's just get that. Or what, what else will work nice for an error? Uh, a warning. Let's see if a warning symbol is good for that. Let's use this little icon, exclamation icon right there. You can obviously use anything else you want. Um, exclamation, let's see. I'm just going to not use the solid. I'm just going to use the outline one. Just to kind of keep everything uh, looking the same. And what I want to do is I want to use that for my error. So I'm just going to paste it in there. I'm just going to give it a class as well for width of 5 and a height of 6. Now for the background, I'm just going to use the red 400. Okay. All right, so that's all there is. So we're going to do 4 seconds. Let's leave it at 5, just leave it a little bit longer. All right, I'm just going to save it. Then my text editor obviously just formats it back. So I just want to see what it looks like. So let's go to the website itself. Let's go to the dashboard. Right, so basically this is how the alert will look like. That right there. And as you can see, it disappears after a couple of seconds. So let's go back and just do this. And I just want to see what the error looks like. Save it, go back, refresh, and that's basically the error one. All right, so that's after five seconds, it's supposed to go away as well, or as you can see, it disappears. All right, we can obviously make it disappear a little bit longer if we set the duration of the alert component to maybe 1000 after a second, it fades out, but I like this kind of transition, it just works well for me. All right, so let's test it to see if it works. All right, so let's save that and go to create a tag quickly. So let's create a tag. Uh, just say new test. Okay, so let's create and see if we get the alert. Tag created. After a couple of seconds, it's supposed to go away. That's it. All right, so it goes away. As you can see, we have the new test right there. So if we delete it, we're supposed to get the same one. Tag deleted right there. All right, and it's supposed to go away now. The five seconds, and it all works. Only thing I still want to do if we go back, I don't like the, the spacing between the two, between the span and that right there. So I'm just going to give this a class of space x or let's let's say three just to give it a little bit better spacing between each other and let's test it again let's go back refresh let's create a new tag test again it's created as you can see i like that spacing is just a little bit better Right, it's supposed to disappear now, and that's it. Right, and if you guys like the video, please give it a like. If you don't, dislike. And if you have any questions, please ask it in the comment section, and I will be glad to assist you. Right, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. If and yes, thank you guys. Cheers, goodbye.